Hello, my friends. Welcome to Dark Souls. I've been having a massive hankering yes, for playing Dark indeed. Souls recently. And we're gonna do it like brands, nobody's business. Oh, yes. And in this land, the undead are corralled and led to the north. Woo, I love being corralled. That's the best. Always nice. Where they are locked away to await the end of the world. Well, at least they don't kill them. Well, I mean, it's not like you can kill an undead, but anyway. Past that. There's us! Look at us! This we have a sick ponytail. Look at that. We're also not wearing anything, because I can't be asked. Can't be asked. Hmm. Oh, what do we got? Where are you looking, mate? Oh, that's nice. We got a present! Hey, dude, did you give us the present? I don't think we can sustain ourselves on that for long. We're gonna need some more... Do you want me to eat it? What's... I mean, did you have to throw an entire corpse down here? Oh, my lord. Anyway, Dark Souls, woo! I have played Dark Souls before, just, just to give everyone a solid understanding of the situation. I am well acquainted with Dark Souls. But, I've had a hankering for it, so we're gonna play it. Right here, right now, on the channel, all of it, in one go. Not true. Not gonna do that. That's terrible. We're gonna pillage this corpse, get the key, but before we leave the key... This will not be a normal playthrough of Dark Souls. By the way, I look hideous. Look at that. Ooh. Ugh. Oh, disgusting. Somehow my hair has remained perfect in the course of all of this, which is kind of weird. Anyway, as I was saying, not a normal playthrough of Dark Souls. We're not just gonna choose whatever resources we want. We will have rules, my friends. Rules to make it harder, because quite frankly, I need them. So here's how it's gonna work. First off, no projectiles. None at all. No crossbows, no projectile sorceries, nothing like that. I know, crazy, right? Um, also, and this one's huge, no shields. Except for Sen's Fortress. Sen's Fortress, we can have shields. Because ain't nobody got time for going through Sen's Fortress without a shield. But we're gonna go in without a shield, and we're also gonna do a dex build character. Because I have a particular weapon that I quite enjoy. Anyway, now that we got the rules set and underway, let us go out into the world. Hey dudes, what's up? Hello, my face is jerky! You need to suffer for my face being jerky! There we go, he's dead. I'm sure he feels good about that one. I mean, he can't just let these guys live. Once they've seen you be a jerky monster, who can even, like, deal with that? So, here we go. Hello. Oh my lord, I love Dark Souls. Dark Souls is so good. Let's just take a quick sit here. Just rest here. Before we go face a giant fat demon of doom. That's right. Oh, look at those glutes. Have you, like, feasted upon those glutes yet? Those are amazing. Sick glutes, mate. Sick glutes glutes so most likely how I'm gonna record this is doing it in like batch recordings and then splicing together the best moments of the batch recordings and potentially spice it up with a few other things hello dude my glutes might be sick but can we just take a quick little glance at this dude's glutes look at those glutes though those are sick glutes those are the best glutes ever anyway I'm not fighting this dude not even happening I do like two damage to him with this broken sword. Ain't nobody got time for that. Not even I got time for that. And I got, I got a decent amount of time. I mean, it's not a huge quantity of time, but I got a decent amount. Enough to go in like Dark Souls for like ever. Hello. Would you please perchance stop trying to shoot me with arrows? Oh, would you please stop succeeding at shooting me with arrows? Playing shield, that's disgusting. A plank shield is not going to save us. Not at all. So I will also tell you, I'm kind of assuming that you guys have a basic idea of what Dark Souls is. If you don't, here's the basic idea. Action RPG from Japan, all about despair and, you know, it's difficult. And that's how it rolls. 
Outside of that, do you really need to know anything else? I don't think so. I'm pretty sure that's enough information at this point. But it's been out for a while. It's big everywhere. So I assume you know something about it. And if you don't know any more than that, well, I guess you're going to learn something. Because guess what? It's here. It's going to happen. Okay. What do we got? Oh, hello, bonfire. How nice. Do, 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 do. It's such a nice day. Hello. Boulder. Nice. Hey, mate. Dude, you dropped some jerky down on us earlier. I don't mean to be that guy, but I do not want to eat that jerky. That jerky looks oh, disgusting. You. You're no hollow. Well, not yet. Oh, I'm pretty close. I mean, I'm I'm a jerky I'm monster, too. Then lose my sanity. That's not great. What do you need, mate? Hear me out, you? Well, I mean, you being undead is not necessarily a good reason for me to hear you out. Generally, people who are undead are pretty unreliable, but I'll listen to you, mate. You're pretty sick. You can keep the torch lit. We'll see. saying in my family, Thou who art undead art chosen. In thine exodus from the undead asylum, maketh pilgrimage to the land of ancient lords. Okay. When thou ringeth the bell of awakening, the fate of the undead thou shalt not. Understood, my friend. And I can die with hope in my heart. Oh, one more thing. What do you got, mate? Here, take Oh, yeah, this. hand over your juice, dude. An Estus flask. An undead favorite. I love it. Nice. Those are healing items for anyone who doesn't know. Oh, and this. Ah, and a key. Right. Now we do I need that. Thank you, friend. I would hate to harm you after death. So go now. And thank you. Got it, dude. Bye, dude. Good luck, dude. He's gonna go kill himself, don't worry. <laughs> I mean, uh, that's probably something we should be worrying about, actually. We shouldn't just say, don't worry about our friends killing themselves. There's, there's probably some serious issues with that one that we need to resolve at some point. Hey, jerky monster! Prepare to die! I have no tolerance for jerky in this area. Ow! Good God! Right in the shoulder! That is highly impolite, my friend. I'm going to come and teach you a small lesson about hitting jerky people in the shoulders. Guess it doesn't really matter if it's jerky people. It's just anyone in general. Hey, mate. I'm going to kill you, too, just for the fun of it, because I can't be asked. Bada boom! Oh, backstab, nice. Okay. So basically, what we've just learned is that our quest as the undead, in other words, as a jerky person, is to go out and ring the bells of awakening to do something, because I, I... The undead curse we shall know, that, that's what. And in order to go get those, we need to, of course, beat the crap out of um, butt dude. He does have a luscious butt. He's also a tutorial boss, so he's easy to all heck. Get wrecked! Get wrecked! I have nothing but a, a piece of wood. You could pick this up off the... Ow! Thanks. I appreciate that, Asylum Demon. I quite appreciate that. Like my face needed any more holes in them. It's already jerkified. I mean, with all the jerky on my face, I'm pretty sure I have tons of holes there. Which really, out of context, makes absolutely no sense. Not saying that it makes any more sense in context, but you know. It's a thing regardless. Okay, we beat the tutorial. Good for us. I feel so accomplished. I'm just, like, ecstatic about having beaten the tutorial. Woo. Yay. Oh, so nice. Oh, this is the easiest this is ever going to be, people. Don't worry. Just, like, savor the success so far. It's easy as all heck. Oh, my word. We need to get some clothes, like, ASAP, because I don't mean to be that guy. Those glutes are luscious, but we need to get them out of our face immediately. One day an undead shall be Hello, Raven. How you doing? I think our character needs better reaction time. I mean, that raven, for all we know, could have been trying to kill us. Given that it's Dark Souls, likelihood is it would be trying to kill us. 
And we should have rolled out of the, the way long before it grabbed lords. us, but you know. You gotta go with it regardless. I guess it since the Raven got us, we just gotta move with it. Here we go. Gliding on into our nice, well, nice. Into the land of Lordran. Definitely not a nice place. It's a pretty terrible place. It's kind of, kind of filled with things that have no other interest in mind rather than killing us. So there you go. Here we are. Woo! Woo! Level up and kindle up bonfires in Lordran. Very nice. Solid. We're going to level up very quickly. So as I've said previously, for any of you who understand, we're going dex. And what does that mean precisely? Well, dexterity tends to be based around highly skill-based weapons in this game. Or spears. Spears are not skill-based weapons. They're really not. You just hide behind a shield like a little disgusting coward. Lady, do you know about cowards? Nope. She doesn't know because she can't talk. Because she doesn't have a tongue. Kind of unfortunate. Anyway, dex weapons are based around, like, skill of use. And I've got a particular dex weapon in mind that we're going to go pick up and use for the remainder of the game because I quite enjoy it. And we're going to get killed with it many times. It shall be bathed in more of our own blood than it shall be bathed in the blood of our enemies. Isn't that nice? Well, here we go. Hey dudes, what's up? How you doing? You do not seem particularly happy. Dude's having a little hissy fit over there. It's fine. Our weapon should be right here. Dude, dude, I don't mean to be that guy. I know you're like... No, you're like grieving right now, but I'm gonna need to pillage that corpse. And for your own good, I'm just gonna beat you to death before I do it. There we go. There it is, that's our weapon, the Astok. It's kind of brutal. I gotta say, I just beat that dude to death with a, literally just with a club, because he happened to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. Quite unfortunate. We're gonna go out into the open so we don't like hit the walls and break our sword. Which kind of is a thing. You know, weapons have durability. So if we keep hitting walls, it will eventually break. We're going to go out here and showcase the move sets. Da -da 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 that was a that 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 was just like a like a transfer over to the next scene, whatever. D don't worry about it. Anyway, move set number 1. The stock has a stabbing motion. Look at that. Move set number 2. A horizontal slash. Move set number three. This is the slick one. That was not it. This one. There we go. It is a slash with a step backwards. We also have our running stab, our jumping stab. There we go. Hard stab, normal stab, back slash. Now that you know our moveset, you are well acquainted with our character. Our character's name is now... Bob. Hello, Bob. Yes, it's not technically his name, but it's his name now. There's Crustfallen. How you doing, Crustfallen? Well, what do we have here? You must be a new arrival. My name is Bob. How are you? Fate of the undead, right? Mm-hmm, that one. Well, you're not the first. Uh, am I not? That's quite unfortunate. Here. You'd have done better to rot in the undead asylum. Huh. Too late now. Oh. Uh, well, I, don't, I didn't want to rot in the undead happy. asylum. Look, there I mean, I've got... Actually, oh, kind of disgusting. two bells of awakening. One's are there two? The okay. No, I already knew that. The other is far, far below. In the ruins at the base of Blight Town. Blight Town. Them both. The and worst so place in, literally in Brilliant. the world. Not much to go on, but I have a feeling that won't stop you. Nah, you oh, can't stop me. It is. Can't stop this. No, 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 can't stop this. Buzz off, crustfallen. Anyway, he has nothing of interest to tell us beyond that. So we're gonna go up here and on into our adventure. Woo! 
Hello. How you doing? How you doing? You feeling good? That was not the attack I wanted to do. Oh my word. Oh, not starting out very well for. Hey. What are you doing? Impolite to interrupt people when they're killing your friends. Thank you. Just stay there. I have more of your friends to kill. We should probably kill that dude first. We're gonna kill that dude, then come down for the night. This dude's a prick. Prick! Stop it with your firebombs. And you, stop being his friend. Thank you. He has ceased to be his friend. We are apparently like destroyers of friendships at this point. We shall now name our character Bob, Destroyer of Friendships. I feel like his name's gonna change many times in the course of this playthrough, but for now, he is Bob, Destroyer of Friendships. Hey, dude. I just went up to kill your friends before I killed you, but you're totally my next target. Get racked. Solid, solid. Oh, Hollow Soldier Waste Cloth. Perfect. Guess what? Guess what? Where is our legs? That's our legs. There we go. Look, we don't have to look at the glutes anymore. Oh, perfect. Oh, that was exactly what we needed because those glutes were like, ugh. I mean, on one hand, they were very firm glutes. I can assure you of that. They looked amazing. But on the other hand, they were made of jerky, which is not really the best thing in the world. Generally, you don't want to chill out looking at jerky glutes all day long. Nor turkey glutes, but that's that's very secondary. I don't know. I just I just heard jerky and I was like, turkey? Would you want to look at turkey's glutes? I mean, I guess once you've like killed it and cooked it up, everyone wants to look at turkey glutes. I mean, I guess technically they want to stare at turkey thighs and turkey breasts more than they want to check out the glutes. But I'm sure the glutes are pretty useful too. Do, ch do turkeys even have glutes? Is that a thing that they have? I don't even know. Hey, buzz off. Stop it. Don't hit me with a sword. That is very impolite, my friend. Get racked. That was, that was not. That was not it. Anyway, we killed him. We didn't kill him in quite as much style as I wanted to, but we did it regardless. And of course these dudes, oh, hello. You were not where I thought you were gonna be. These dudes have to die too, because you know, everyone has to die around here. So in our offhand, in the ideal situation, when we do eventually find one of these, we're going to get ourselves a parrying dagger so that we can actually do parry attacks. But for now, there's not going to be anything in our left hand because, you know, we don't have anything to put in the left hand because we don't have a parrying dagger or anything. What are you on about? All we've got is a club and an stock. And quite frankly, the club is not gonna do very well as a secondary weapon. It's not really, I hey mate, how you doing? Bye, dragon. Bye. He's a swell guy, isn't he? That dragon, gotta love him. Hey, mates. Oh, I'm here to teach you a solid lesson about being terrible. Stop being terrible, guys, please. Oh, that was not good. That was not good. Confidence killed the cat. Not quite how that goes, but still, it's close enough. I am the cat, and this is the confidence that is killing it. There we go, we got this. Ow! I'm clearly not half as good at dodging these arrows as I pretend to be. Which I pretend to be really good at dodging these arrows. Which is kind of concerning, because if I'm not even half as good as that, we don't have much of a chance of surviving, do we? Ow. That arrow dude is a prick. I'm not a fan of him. Hey, arrow dude. Stop shooting me. That is very impolite. I'm here to bring politeness back to this wretched land. Thank you very much. What do we have over here? Just a couple skeleton dudes. Well, I guess they're undead dudes. They're not really skeletons. I mean, technically they have skeletons on them, but I wouldn't really classify them as skeletons. My friend, would you please come out here? I want to have a small fight with you, but I don't want to bring your friend out as well because I'd prefer to kill you each separately. I know it is quite fun killing, um, 
friends while other friends are watching. It's kind of one of my things, being Bob, the destroyer of friendships. It's kind of what I do, but at the same time, you know, we got to work with it. Okay. Spear dudes are the worst. We have to get him to attack us, and then we're going to, like, pull a sick move where we come up behind, and then we just stab him in the back! Oh, we're backstabbing little pricks, aren't we? That's unfortunate. He thought we were his friend. Now he's dead. That's how it works, Mr. Skeleton. That's how this goes. Any chance you want to try to stab us? There we go. There we go. Okay, not quite fast enough. Not quite fast enough. We were like seconds off. That was disgusting. It was disgusting. We need to be perfect. If we're not perfect, how are we going to survive out here? Seriously, we need to be perfect. Okay, we're gonna go down, talk to Mr. Not Mr. Crate. Talk to Mr. Merch Goblin. Hello, I see you behind those. I'm well aware of your existence. Could you please come out here and have a small chat with me? There we go. There we go. Is there anything over here? I can't even remember what's over here. Any chance of anything? Hello? Oh, hello. You guys look like fun. How are you guys? Ow, I didn't kill him in one hit? Oh, my word. That is a small issue. I was so certain I was going to kill them in one hit. I committed to that fully. Then I got knifed. My jerky got sliced up. Oh, my word. Hey, hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Calm down. Calm down. Perfect. Okay. Up we go. Up we go. I now remember where we are. We're going to have to fight many jerky men in the future. Just take a moment to admire that. Is that a door or a window? I can't quite tell. I mean, it's very small. Likelihood is it's a window, but it's shaped like a door. I can't... I couldn't walk through that. Can other people walk through that? Or is that just a window? I don't know. I don't know if anyone cares either, but I mean, I was confused by the entire situation. Oh, throwing knives. Sick. Gotta love throwing knives. Let's do this. Woo! Woo! There we go. There we go. What do we got up here? Anyone? Hello? Here to kill some people. Also, you know, save the world and stuff, but mostly kill people. It's kind of what I do for a living. Kind of what I do to live as well, because most people around here are trying to kill me. Not entirely certain why, because, I mean, quite frankly, I haven't done anything to them. Why would they possibly try to kill me? I have no clue. My word. Hello? Hello? Any chance of, uh... Ah, here we go. Hi, friends. How you doing? Friends, no, please, no, calm down, please, no, this is unnecessary. I know I'm the destroyer of friendships. I know you may not necessarily like me all that much, but at the same time, come on now. What is up? You don't have to stab me for it. I mean, I could understand people stabbing me for killing their friends, that I understand, but I don't think I killed these guys' as friends unless... Oh, no. Oh no, were those other guys, these guys' as friends? Oh, I understand. Oh, I get it. Oh, that makes perfect sense. It was vengeance killing. Oh, I should have let them kill me. Oh, that would have made them feel so good. Are we looking to make these pe guys feel good, or are we looking to just, like, kill them? I think I'm just looking to kill them, quite frankly. Was that rubbish? Who puts rubbish on the ground? Well, I guess that's actually a semi-logical place for rubbish to go. Quite frankly, friends, it should have gone in the bin. Why did you leave it out here when it should have gone in the bin? Oh, wait. Hold up. Something just occurred to me about this entire situation. This was totally a planned ambush, wasn't it? You see, here's how it goes. Here's how it goes. Uh, criminal sleuth investigator number one. At your service, Bob, killer of friends, is investigating the crime scene. 
here's how it goes. These four dudes are, of course, disgusting little plebs. And because they're disgusting little plebs, they were trying to steal from the proletariat. See, I happen to be a proletariat. No, I don't look like one, but I'm totally a proletariat. Anyway, in order to steal from the proletariats, who are also well known for their looting, they put out a treasure. Of course, proletariats have this terrible issue where they can't see what a treasure is until they picked it up. So these dudes were waiting out here for some proletariat to come and pick up the treasure. And of course, most proletariats are also terrible cowards. So they would jump out, and the moment that they jumped out, they would try to knife the proletariat and steal all of his cash monies. See, I understand the situation fully. It was a clever plan, but not clever enough to stop Bob the Destroyer of Friendships. Because of course, in order for a successful ambush to occur, one must be friends with the people with whom you are ambushing the other person. And of course, we made certain that that was not the case. It's quite unfortunate, but oh, hello. What are you doing down there? Are you trying to steal from the proletariats? I can assure you, you disgusting little pleb, that you're not gonna get a cent out of me. Here we go. Bada boom. Get wrecked, pleb. Eat it. Oh, he just, he literally just disappeared. We killed him so hard he disappeared. Love it. Oh my word. Well, we've just examined nearly the entirety of Undead Berg in one fell swoop. Actually, fairly quickly, too. I'm surprised we examined it that quickly. I mean, usually it takes longer, even if you know where you're going. But in this situation, Bob, the destroyer of friends, cannot be slowed down by anything. So there you go. Ah, oh, wooden shield. Useless! We can't even use it. The rules say no shields. It's like, I think it's point number two on the list of rules. No shields. Too easy. Get racked. Hello, Merch Goblin. This is the Merch Goblin. Well now, you seem to have your wits about you. I do have my wits about you me. You are a welcome customer. Cool. I trade for souls. Everything's for sale. Nice, Merch Goblin. <laughs> what can I purchase from you, Merch Goblin? Is there anything I want here? I'm gonna level with you. I don't really want any of this stuff. This stuff is kind of lackluster. I'll take the leather gauntlets. But, um... That Thank stuff is way too heavy. Be. We need to be very <laughs> nimble and quick, as opposed to, like, tanky. Tanky's not going to do any good for us. There we go. We got some leather gloves. So now we're in this really weird situation where all we have is, like, a glorified loincloth and some leather gloves. That's, that's kind of sketchy, mate. Kind of sketchy. Really weird. Anyway... For now, that will bring us to the end of the first episode of Dark Souls. What have we done so far? We've destroyed many friendships. We've, un we've uncovered a plebeian attempt to steal from the proletariat aristocrats, namely us. I don't think there are any other proletariats out here. Those are definitely not proletariats. Those are plebs. Plebs throwing firebombs because they don't know what to do. They're like, we're poor, we don't understand, we don't have any education, so we're gonna throw firebombs at people. That's not how you get an education. It's not how you do it. Anyway. As I was saying, that will bring us to the end of the episode. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, like and subscribe. We shall continue next time. Potentially, I'll even be bringing in some other peeps. That's right, actual other peeps. I have friends, you know, it's a thing. I swear they exist. No, they're not just they're not just figments of my imagination, okay? So I may be bringing in some peeps to uh, assist in the course of this series. But until next time, thanks for watching and of course, enjoy the rest of your day. <laughs>